Hello everyone, and welcome to another art tutorial with Udo Creatives. In this video, we're going to do a line drawing of Martin Luther King using Procreate for iPad. At times during this video, I'll discuss what I'm doing, so stay tuned. If you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe to Udo Creatives for more art content. Let's get started. Before we start, I will introduce my tools. Majority of this drawing is sketched using the Uncreative Sketching Tool and Uncreative Sketching 1 tool at 12% size with full opacity. Then, the shading is created with my smudge tool and soft brush. Sizing and opacity depends on location and use. We'll start by sketching the shape of his head. Nothing complex, just an outline to match my reference. I'll add in an outline of his ear as well, followed by an outline of his clothing. Once this is done, I'll start working on his hair. Remember, it is better to take your time to get hair strands correctly through lining than just coloring black. This will give it a more realistic look. Hair drawing takes real patience as we want to focus on the realism and pattern of the strands. Next, I'll start sketching out the outlines for his nose and eyes. Now, I'll add his eyebrows with the same lining technique as the hair. I'll also darken his eye pupils and work on his mouth, adding some darkness to create depth. I sometimes like to do multiple things in parallel. You might call it a bad habit of mine. Next, I'll start adding lighter hair strands to represent his moustache. Same technique as the hair and eyebrows, slow and steady. Next is the shading step. Before that, feel free to pause the video and do a quick check around your sketch. Just in case you want to make some modifications. Let's move to shading using my Uncreative Sketching Tool 12% size, full opacity. I'll soften my shades with the smudge tool and soft brush. We'll start with shading his face and neck adding some shades to show areas of depth to ensure a more realistic look. Mm -hmm. 
Then, I grayed and smoothened out his face and neck, using the soft brush to smudge across various areas. Same thing with his clothes. Next, I'll start adding some darker shades and details around his face and neck to represent shadows and depth. Notice the depth I'm adding around the eyes, nose, and mouth. I'll keep working around the face and neck areas, adding more contours and shades until I am satisfied. I use my smudge tool to smoothen out these areas. Our work is looking very three-dimensional now. Shading and contouring are super important for that 3D look. Feel free to pause and try to understand my shadow profile if needed. I'll keep working around the face and neck areas, adding more depth, contours and shades until I am satisfied. Next, I'll work on darkening the tone on his face, and then move on to darkening his hair as a way to balance everything out. Notice how the hair looks richer, but doesn't overwhelm everything else. I'll add some minor finishing touches around to complete the work. And there we have it. 
Martin Luther King is drawn using Procreate for iPad. Remember that practice is key to improving on your art journey, so do not feel discouraged if you do not get it right the first time. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to always start out with a simplified sketch to see what designs you can experiment with. Please like this video and subscribe to Udo Creatives for more art content.